Um, but anyway, so the question is, why is the following phenol so acidic? So um, the pKa of this is 4.2. And the pKa of phenols is usually somewhat higher at about 15 or something like that. Okay, So you can see that this is much more acidic. So I guess the first, first thing you got to figure out is which is the acidic proton, right? Okay, um, so if we look, there's proton there, 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 three there, right? But those are all carbon-hydrogen bonds. So, of course, hopefully you can figure out that the hydrogen heteroatom bond is going to be the acidic proton, okay? So, what, why is this pK so low? It's because the conjugate base is more stable than the acid, okay? So why would that be? Okay, so you always got to remember, stability, especially for organic compounds, for any compound, has a lot to do with resonance, okay? So the more resonance structures you can make, the better, right? So, and of course, this is um, resonance um, without charge distribution, too, although in this case, you'll see that the negative charge is going to be all throughout this molecule. Okay? So, uh, we'll just take a base just to go over the mechanism of the reaction. We're going to remove that proton, like that. Okay? And then I guess we'll draw a little box, you know, just so we can say we're going to put all these resonance structures. And uh, maybe I won't draw them all because it's going to take up some time, but we can draw a couple of the more prominent ones. Of course, the one that was initially made is going to be that. Right? And of course, we've also got up there. So that's one resonance form. Notice, if we tried to do a resonance form with this, we would get a charge separation, right? We'd get a positive charge here, a negative charge there, or whatever, okay? So here we've already got the negative charge, so we can distribute it. So we can take that, those electrons, bounce them there. Of course, I'll do one of these resonance forms, okay? Well, we'll do that later, but the other major res resonance form going to have those um, arrows. Remember resonance arrow. So you can see we've distributed that negative charge, so it's on both of those oxygens. This is the place that it likes to be the most, although there are partial negative charges around that ring, too. We could show another resonance form like I was about to do last time. Let's do that one now. And then I'll let you guys do all the other resonance forms on the ring, okay? So we could take these electrons, and put them right there, okay? It's not the, like I said, the ideal resonance form, but it is a resonance form. And it is taking that negative charge and distributing on another atom, okay? So the more atoms that we can take that negative charge and kind of, you know, distribute it out, less concentrated on one atom, the more stable you get, okay? So, of course, you could do it to this one. You should be able to do it to this one. Try to do it to the other ones, okay? See what you can do. But this will be the last one I draw, so we can get on with other stuff. And we'll just put those electrons there. And of course, everything else. brackets it takes, right? 
So is everybody cool with that? So there's definitely more resonance structures. Just figure them out on your own. Okay. So again, it's why is this so acidic? Because the conjugate base is stable because it's got a lot of resonance structures. Is everybody cool? Any questions? Okay, good.